the Brandy world. It felt so natural for us because first off, Brandy is made from grapes. And what better than making Brandy but from Napa Valley? We were just trying to do something bold and exciting, something new that inspires us. We're always trying to be ahead of the game in innovation. And really, Brandy is the underdog. Whiskey's been king for a long time, but if you look back in history, when the settlers were first settling here, they weren't planting corn, they were planting fruit trees. And when they had excess, they didn't want it to go to waste, so they would end up distilling it. And so the very first spirits in America were brandy. That kind of goes right back into sustainability where we don't want any fruit to go to waste. We want to be able to use everything that we produce here. And brandy was just such a natural addition to what we are all about here at Visatui. Our first batch of brandy that we've created here, we started with fruit from our Solano property. That is the Val de Guy variety, or we call it Gamay here. And we harvested that fruit and turned it into wine like we do with all of our grapes. We distill that. This first batch is column distilled, and that brings the alcohol content to a higher percentage. It takes away a, a little bit more of those impurities, a little bit more of a clean slate for when it goes into oak barrel. Now, the brandy is actually clear when we first distill it, and all the flavor and color come from it being in the oak barrel. The oak barrels that we have selected for our first batch are barrels from our Solera system that we put our Madeira in. And so really, the wines that have been in these barrels can be dated back all the way to 1885 from the beginning of our Solera system. And this flavor is just integrated into these barrels and it's really something special that can be added to our brandy. And it just has these wonderful flavors of caramel and hazelnut and it really shows through on the brandy. We're not adding any other additives to this. We don't add any flavoring, any sulfur. This is 100% grapes from our own estate vineyards. In the world of brandy, my idea behind it is I don't want it to be taste like it's flavored brandy. I do want it to still taste like brandy. This is definitely gonna be, become a part of our Visa Tui product line. So our first batch is only 70 cases. And so it's gonna fly off the shelves for sure. We're really excited about it. So here we are at Lock and Union the Distillery. This is our partnering distillery to help us craft this brandy and bring it to life. So our process here for bottling this brandy is we bring in the glass. The next step is we're going to insert the bottle into our filler, and that's all just gravity fed. Since this is hand bottled, we wanna make sure that the fill level is appropriate, so we adjust slightly with an eyedropper. And then from there, we'll add the bar top. We have a nice custom made bar top that's made of wood and natural cork. And then from there, we'll bring it over to the labeling table and we'll apply the front, back, and top label. After that, we hand package it into cases and it's all hand done. we're gonna to be top shelf. So we're looking for that elevated experience that can be either enjoyed neat, so that means without any ice, or you can put it on the rocks, so you add a little bit of ice that will cut through some of the alcohol a little bit more and you'll be able to enjoy some of those flavors. Or this can also be utilized in your craft cocktails. Some of my favorite cocktails that I have with our brandy are old fashions, or a Napa Mule. And starting with a higher end brandy, you are introducing all those amazing flavors into your craft cocktail as well. We're excited to showcase some of the recipes that we came up with, with all of you. And you can see that it's very different than any other bottle we've produced here. We've taken a very minimalist approach to our label design. We really wanna showcase the beautiful color that we have that you can see through the bottle to let the brandy really speak. We have had 
some difficulty with producing this bottle just because of the pandemic and all of the difficulties of getting supplies. When you have such a specialty bottle, you can't just replace it with something that's really close to the same shape. Uh, and so we have had to wait an extra year to be able to get this in bottle, which also means that the brandy inside got another year in barrel. And so this very first batch is gonna be extra special. And you really pick up all those beautiful aromas of caramel and nuts and hazelnuts. It's candy for the soul. <laughs>